Here, material property definition in ANSYS APDL is explained. In order to select an, to, in order to define the material property from the window, at, under preprocessor, you pick the material props and then pick the material models, and a window like this will open up that you can pick the element types or the material properties for your simulation. For example, here I've shown the steps to define a linear elastic isotropic material properties. And when you click on that, a window like this will open where you could enter Young's modulus and Poisson ratio. And each of these will have its own corresponding window after you click on them. Material properties will be defined in accordance with the element type that is selected for the simulation. Again, Young's modulus and Poisson ratio are necessary for structural analysis. And you could also use coefficient of thermal expansion, or CTE, to see the effect of temperature on the deformation of a structural element type. Information about different material models and properties are given in the help documentation of ANSYS APDL, which you can refer to to learn more about different material properties in ANSYS APDL for your analysis.